A controversial preacher, Paul McKenzie of Good News International Church, who is being held at the Shimola Tewa prison and government pathologist Johansen Odor have failed to appear before the Senate Ad Hoc Committee investigating the circumstances and under which 400 people died in Chakama Ranch within Chakahola Forest. The two were summoned to appear before the committee today to shed more light on the issue. Our very own Alice Diana has more. The Senate Ad Hoc Committee investigating the circumstances under which over 400 people died in Chakama Ranch within Chakahola Forest have expressed their disappointment after controversial Pastor Paul McKenzie of Good News International Church and government pathologist Johansen Odor failed to honor their sermon. The committee had on October 13th gave directions for the two witnesses to be produced before it for the purposes of obtaining evidence in accordance with parliamentary procedures. According to the committee's chairperson, Danson Mungatana, Mackenzie's lawyer and the inspector general of prisons wrote to the committee requesting for more time. Mr. Mackenzie was not produced because we got letter, two letters actually, one from his lawyer, Mr. Makasembo, the other one from the inspector general of prisons, explaining the difficulties in time in times of time and logistic arrangements to get the witness here before the senate committee at 10 o'clock as requested and so they asked for more time um, which we are unable to grant because the committee's mandate comes to an end on Thursday when we table the report before the Senate. Mungatana, however, noted that government's chief pathologist Johansen Odor did not communicate to the committee why he failed to appear as was required, a move that has seen the committee fine him 500,000 shillings. Kwa upande wa daktari Johansen, tunasema ya kwamba hatu kupata maelezo yote wala barua yote kutoka kwake Kwa hivyo tunasema ile hatua tuliosema ya kwamba alipe elfu miatano uh, taslim kama faini hiyo lazima itekelezwe na itatekelezwa na yeye binafsi na sio uh, wizara anayotoka huko. Na tunachukulia tuna kuwa haja fanya vizuri kama mtumishi wa serikali Mtumishi wa serikali Ange, ange, ange fuatizia sheria vile inatakikana na ha, hatu kufurahishwa kama seneti. The ad hoc committee whose mandate lapses this Thursday has said it will have to write its final report which will not reflect the views of Mackenzie and Odwar as they failed to appear to explain their own side of the story. The committee has further said it will write its recommendations to the Senate on how the two will be handled after failing to honor the summons. We just wanted him to clarify, you know, issues, for example, did you own the property under which the investigations were being carried? Uh, were you preaching starvation to see Jesus? There are very many questions that were relevant for him to clarify. Why your ideologies surely uh, good uh, for public safety in this country? The Mungatana-led committee who visited Pastor Ezekiel Odera's church in Mavueni, Cliffy County on Monday, has further dismissed the allegations of a mock and graves at the New Life Prayer Center and church. There were serious allegations that there is a mortuary in that place that uh, the gentleman was also preaching something was association between him and Mackenzie so they were preaching something similar like starvation to see Jesus so when we went we saw the restaurant where so that uh, is it gives you a different story when we went we saw the place that is supposed to be the mortuary there, there was a it's a powerhouse that's where the generator that is circulating power around there was there. Uh, the grave site that we were told is there, we saw it's a construction site. Alice Diana Hope TV News Watch.